Welcome to Top Shelf Men. I'm Reese. Today, we're going to talk about how women's logic and thinking, along with betas, ruin Western civilizations, ruin cities, how their sense of justice and fairness is actually quite illogical. I was reminded of this from the women that I have dated. So here in the US, I'm from a big Western leftist commie city where it's the city has first world prices, but quality of life is a third world crap hole. So among many girls that I've dated, they always love to talk about discrimination. They always love to talk about, oh, fairness. They always love to talk about how everyone needs to be able to live a fair life and be their true selves. And as long as they're uh, just being themselves and they aren't hurting anybody else, everything should be okay. So this way of thinking is completely gynocentric because we live in a society, especially when people are crunched in together in cities and they're, they're close to each other. We have to have a baseline level of moralities and respect towards each other so we don't get in each other's way. We don't, we don't bother anybody else because again, we're, we're stuck in tight quarters. Again, people choose to live in cities. So this, does, so this logic that women have doesn't work. And there was an example of that. Uh, once I was riding the train with this girl and there was uh, some, some gay guy who was, you know, uh, not bothering anyone. But in the train, they have these poles that are from the, from the floor to the, to the roof of the train, the ceiling of the train, which allow you to hold on as the train stops and goes so you don't fall over. And this guy was kind of, uh, he was like a Spanish, black, uh, gay guy. And he was prancing around it, like, you know, like, just kind of like pole dancing, like a stripper. Again, I thought it was, it was kind of ridiculous, but, you know, again, women want, women like this, because he was being his true self. And then some other random black guy started just cursing him out, telling him, oh, that if he continues, uh, I'm going to avoid the dirty words here because, you know, uh, censorship and whatnot. But basically told him off and told him that if he continues acting like a fairy, he's going to knock his teeth out. And the girl I was with was shocked. Oh my God, how could he be so violent towards that other man? And then that reminded me perfectly of this meme over here. Uh, yes, of this meme over here. And this is the thing. You cannot appease women's sense of justice their sense of fairness you can't because at the end everything is about their feelings nothing is about logic nothing is about a baseline morality that's why uh, even in the bible god over man man over women women over children but now we live in a society that's clown world run by these lefties and commies where it's women over men but this is the thing you know in the first image that's racist why is the black guy the villain next one that's racist why does the black guy have to get shot next one that's racist. Why is it only black people killing each other? And then finally, that's racist. Why are there no black people in this movie? And you cannot appease women because everything is based on their immediate reactions. And of course, uh, politicians, uh, commies, lefties, they all know this. So they're constantly feeding into women's emotions, their sense of justice, their sense of fear, their sense of equity, equality. And, uh, and that's why they keep women keep voting for more government but so do you know defective beta males and it was funny because after this incident in the train i had explained to the to the girl i was with that you women keep pushing for gay people to be exposed to be out there and it's like why can't you just be a homosexual person in the privacy of your own home without displaying it to everyone yeah you know like uh, if, if if two people want to hold hands or something whatever but then with these public displays of their overt sexuality it's not right it's not normal because it's bound to offend somebody's morality but of course they're not hurting anybody else so they can be as gay in the streets as they want and then on the other hand the guy that cursed him out was a black dude and like we have in this meme over here, with women's sense of justice, oh, well, why are black people being put in, in jail at su such high numbers? Well, could it be because they tend to commit more criminal acts than other people's? But no, because everything has to be fair and have equity and inclusion, then we cannot put people with who, who exhibit violent criminal behavior in prison why because it makes it hurts women's fifis so that answers like the women's side of the equation as into why they keep pushing for this you know voting for this ridiculousness that really wrecks civilizations
But then, you know, I, I've, I was a blue-pilled beta when I was younger, but I've never really been low testosterone, where even when I was blue-pilled, the things that we were being taught just didn't seem right to me. There was something that wasn't factual as to the things that we were being said versus reality, and that's what slowly started red-pilling me. So I've never really understood how betas can kind of play along with all the lies, all the BS about this equity, about this diversity, about this inclusion. And I, if something is wrong to me, I don't care what people think about me. I'm going to call it out because I'm, I'm simply, again, if, if, if somebody says a dog is a turkey, I'm not going to say that the dog is a turkey. I'm going to tell you, no, that's a dog. And again, we live in a society, clown world, where we are constantly being told that, oh, reality is whatever people feel. It's, 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 it's nothing objective, nothing that... Don't trust your lying eyes. And then I came across this post over here that kind of explained to me why is it that these beta males, that these defective males, basically go along with this gynocentric social order. Because uh, the first idea is that, okay, they're desperate to get laid. And because they're desperate to get laid, they basically just follow along with these women. But then again, how many fat, blue-haired whales do they want to harpoon? So I'm like, that can't be the only reason. And then I came across this post over here that kind of explained things that I, in a way that I never really thought about it before. So again, unless you're low T, I guess th this is the way that low T men look at the world. People who can't defend themselves physically, women and low testosterone men, parse information through a consensus filter as a safety mechanism. They literally do not ask, is this true? They ask, will others be okay with me thinking this is true? This makes them very malleable to brute force manufactured consensus. If every screen they look at says the same thing, they will adopt that position because their brain interprets it as someone in the tribe believing it. Only high testosterone alpha males and a neurotypical people, a artists, are actually free to parse new information with an objective, is this true, filter. This is why a republic of high status males is best for decision making. Democratic, comma, but a democracy only for those who are free to think. So after reading that post is that I realized that's why I have no problem disagreeing when something is objectively false. I've had lefties try to bully me because I didn't take the jab. I've had um, lefties try to bully me for a myriad of different reasons. For also supporting the big scary orange man. But I never cared. Why? Because I knew that what I was saying was objectively true. And with them spouting BS and lies, if they wanted to throw down, I have no problem because I have a conviction. Like, I'm saying what reality is. And I mean, again, these are soy, these are soy bug people. So it's not like they even really stand a chance. But I have no peer pressure. I have no reason to count out to these people because I know that they're objectively wrong. And even with things that are a little bit more in the gray area, I, I have my reasons and I can name them. And usually when I talk to these people, they can't. And at the end of the day, if it came down to them trying to bully me with violence, it's like, sure, I'll throw it down. Because you cannot force me to change what objective reality is for you for the sake of your fantasies or your sense of justice or your sense of equity so that's why this post really spoke to me and it made sense to me because i didn't quite understand why is it that these low t beta males just keep going along with all the delusion all the lies all the bs because you know i mean thinking as as a base male it's like yeah they're trying to get laid but no, actually, yeah, they're afraid of confrontation. So whatever the tribe says, whatever their lefty, fruity little friends say, is what they're going to go along with. And as I made the point today, women's sense of what is justice, what is equity, will change based on their whims. But then when everything comes together and they get exactly what they want, they're unhappy with it. Why? Because you're going to get anarchy. 
And that's why these, the powers that be, love catering to women. This is why all Western civilizations have become gynocentric social orders. Because women get scared. The government says, oh, we have a solution for you. Give us more power. Women vote for that. And beta males. And then the government gets more power. And then they use that extra power to tyrannize you more. To, for you to, again, repeat the cycle uh, and keep giving them more and more. This is why female-led relationships fail. This is why female-led corporations fail. This is why when they put women in power, all they can do is take what men built and ruin it. Thank you for listening to this video to the end. So what have your experiences been with low testosterone males and how they behave versus high testosterone males in reference of this gynocentrism? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to help push this video out to more men. I make these videos, but again, you guys are not giving thumbs up and, and you guys are watching to the end. So I'm getting very few views, even though I'm, I'm working really hard to put out this content for you guys. So help the channel grow. Let us build a community. So like and subscribe. It really helps out. All right. This is Reese. See you next video, guys. Peace.